Did you know there's a fish that can climb waterfalls like a ninja? Meet the Nopili Rock Climbing Gobi, a tiny fish from Hawaii with one of the most mind-blowing superpowers in the animal kingdom. This little guy can scale sheer rock walls using nothing but its mouth and a suction cup belly. And we're not talking about small rocks. We're talking about full-blown raging waterfalls with hundreds of tons of water crashing down every second. Most fish would just accept their fate and get washed away, but the goby? It refuses to give up. It climbs. It pulls itself straight up, defying gravity like a fishy Spider-Man. But why would a fish need to do this? And how did it develop this insane ability? Well, the answer is pure survival. See, the goby starts its life in the ocean, where its eggs hatch into tiny larvae, each one barely bigger than a grain of sand. These baby gobies are immediately at risk of being eaten. The ocean is full of predators. Tiny plankton-eating fish? They'll snack on goby larvae without hesitation. Jellyfish? They'll scoop them up like popcorn. Even small filter-feeding animals, things that don't even technically hunt, can end up swallowing baby gobies by accident. The odds of survival are already ridiculously low, but if a goby does make it past those first few weeks, it still has to return to freshwater, where its parents lived, and the only way back is upstream. Now here's where things get insane. When these young gobies reach the mouth of a river, they don't just swim against the current like salmon. They face a whole different challenge. Many of Hawaii's freshwater streams are lined with steep cliffs and raging waterfalls that block their path. This would be an instant game over for most fish. But for the goby? It's just the beginning of the hardest climb in nature. Instead of jumping like other migrating fish, the goby uses two incredible adaptations to literally climb the waterfalls. First, its mouth is shaped like a powerful suction cup allowing it to latch onto rocks even when they're completely wet and covered in rushing water. Second, its pelvic fins are fused together, forming a second suction cup that keeps it anchored while it moves. So, what does this mean? It means the goby can pull itself up a sheer rock face, moving inch by inch as water pounds down on it. Some of these waterfalls are over 300 feet tall. That's like climbing a 30-story building while being hit by a fire hose the entire time. And if the goby loses its grip, it gets washed back down to the bottom where it has to start all over again. Climbing isn't just about endurance. It's about life or death. The water is constantly fighting against the goby, trying to knock it loose and send it tumbling back down to predator-infested waters. And predators? They're waiting at the bottom just hoping a goby will slip up. Eels hide in the shallows, ready to ambush anything that gets washed down. Birds like herons and kingfishers perch on the rocks, scanning the water for an easy meal. Even larger fish are lurking, ready to snatch up any goby that fails its climb. The ones that can't make it up fast enough. They don't survive. But the ones that do... They reach the top of the waterfall and enter freshwater streams where they can finally live in peace. No more big predators. No more being swept away by ocean currents. The goby has earned its place in paradise. And the reward? A safe place to grow, eat, and eventually breed. But even after conquering the waterfall, the goby's journey isn't over. Now it has to find a mate and reproduce. Male gobies search for the best hiding spots in the rocky stream beds, where they carve out tiny shelters and wait for females to arrive. When a female goby chooses a male, she lays her eggs in his hiding spot, and then she leaves. The male stays behind, guarding the eggs like a fierce little warrior, protecting them from anything that might try to sneak in and eat them. And once the eggs hatch, the newborn gobies get washed downstream, back into the ocean, where the entire cycle starts over again. The goby's ability to climb waterfalls isn't just a cool trick. It's a product of millions of years of evolution. 
Scientists believe that its ancestors were originally just normal fish that lived in fast-moving streams, where they had to develop strong suction abilities to keep from being washed away. Over time, those suction abilities became more extreme. Their mouths became better at gripping rocks. Their pelvic fins fused together to create even more suction. Eventually, they developed the ability to climb, and that single adaptation gave them a survival advantage that no other fish had. While other species were stuck in the lower parts of rivers, constantly dodging predators, gobies could escape to higher ground, where they had almost no competition. But even though this fish has survived millions of years of brutal natural selection, it now faces something even more dangerous than predators. Humans. Dams and water diversions are blocking the gobies' migration routes, making it impossible for them to reach the waterfalls they need to climb. Pollution is poisoning the freshwater streams where they live. An invasive species, fish that were never supposed to be in Hawaii, are starting to compete with gobies for food and space. If we don't do something to protect them, this incredible species could disappear forever. Now, let's talk about some insane facts about the goby that will blow your mind. First, pound for pound, its climbing ability rivals some of the best rock climbers in the world. Scientists have actually studied the goby's movements to design better climbing robots. That's right, this little fish is literally inspiring next generation technology. Second, the goby can survive for weeks without food, using only its fat reserves to fuel its climb. While other fish need to constantly eat to stay alive, the goby is built for endurance, meaning it can push through the hardest parts of its journey without stopping to rest. Third, unlike most fish, the goby doesn't just breathe through its gills. It can also absorb oxygen through its skin which helps it survive in low oxygen environments where other fish would suffocate. And fourth, in some Hawaiian legends, the goby is considered a symbol of perseverance and determination because no matter how hard life gets, it just keeps climbing. This fish is a reminder that nature is full of surprises. It doesn't care about limits. It doesn't let anything stop it. It faces overwhelming odds, relentless predators, brutal waterfalls, and yet it never gives up. So the next time you feel like quitting, remember the Nopali rock climbing goby. No matter how tough the climb gets, keep going. Because sometimes the hardest challenges lead to the greatest rewards. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, drop a comment, and subscribe for more juicy viral shorts.